Piedmont Tree Climbing has installed over 150 custom tree swings, mainly in North Carolina, but also throughout the southeast United States and as far away as Central America. I specialize in working with my customers and their unique trees to design, create, and install swings with long, smooth swing arcs that will provide years of happy memories for young and old. Each swing is a work of art. The ropes are spliced to within an inch of specifications for a clean, finished look free of knots or frayed ends. In this video, I'll explain some popular swing seat options, as well as the five most common rope configurations. These include single rope and double rope swings, Y swings, V swings, and Swerfer swings. I'll explain what characteristics I look for in your trees and your yard when deciding on the type of swing to suggest. This information can help you evaluate your options and identify your preferences before we meet, or if we've already met in person, this video can give some additional context to what we discussed. One favorite seat option is the Web Rider's nest swing, shown here. The frame is a single piece of tubular steel, and the seat has a 600 pound weight limit, so the whole family can safely pile on. Nest seats can provide a thrilling ride, or can also be very relaxing when lying on your back watching the glow of fireflies on a summer evening. It's hard to pump on one of these swings, so to get full enjoyment you may need a friend to push you. Another popular type of seat is a thick wooden disc with a hole drilled through the middle. A stopper knot under the seat holds it at just the right height. This kind of seat requires some agility to use, but it does allow for more active play and doesn't require someone to push the rider. My disc seats are handcrafted by a man in Asheville, North Carolina. Each one is sanded to a perfectly smooth finish and coated to extend its life in the elements. The weight limit on a wooden disc seat is 250 pounds. The Swerfer swing is another popular option. It's super fun to sit on as a traditional swing, and when you stand up on the Swerf board, you can pump yourself in a giant oval. Kids and adults love the Swerfer, and although it's rare to find a single tree with a limb strong enough and far enough from the trunk to install the Swerfer, I developed an innovative way to suspend the Swerfer between two trees that I will show later in this video. The best way to safely install a low-maintenance, long-lasting tree swing that won't compromise the health of the tree is to drill all the way through the wood and install a forged eye bolt that won't corrode over time. This method requires a powerful drill and long carbide-tipped auger-style drill bits. The alternative, wrapping something around the tree limb, can eventually cut the flow of nutrients and kill the limb. The simplest way to mount a swing is with a single spliced rope attached to a sturdy limb far from the trunk. A single rope swing allows three-dimensional movement and the higher the anchor point, the further from the trunk it must be in order to prevent collision with the trunk. As with any type of tree swing, gently sloping ground can provide an amazing takeoff point. The web rider swing or a wooden disc seat are great choices for a single rope swing. A popular option that I incorporate into nearly all my swings is a coupling that allows the user to interchange multiple swing seats a perfect option for those that, who can't settle on just one kind of seat. Talking about tree swings often conjures up an image of a rectangular wooden board seat suspended from a horizontal limb. I have installed a number of double rope swings as I call them, but it's rare to find a completely horizontal limb, and if the limb isn't horizontal, the two ropes will be different lengths, causing the swing to twist at both ends of the swing arc. If you have a limb that is close to horizontal, I do have a trick for lowering the high side of the anchor point so that the swing ropes end up the same length. Forest grown trees and pine trees are known for growing straight and tall without strong horizontal limbs. If this describes all your trees, you might think that there's no way to have a tree swing, but actually straight tall trunks are perfect for installing Y style swings. A Y shaped swing has two upper Y arms made of spliced ropes that are connected to a forged rigging ring equidistant between the trees. The third leg of the Y drops down from the ring and holds the swing seat. A Y style swing requires two equally matched strong trunks 18 to 28 feet apart. Wooden disc seats and horizontal nest seats are good choices for a Y swing. The configuration of the rope makes it nearly impossible to have a collision with either trunk. Most Y swings will be mounted at 30 to 60 feet up the trunk. If you have two good trees that are less than the 18 feet distance needed for a Y swing, 
then they might be perfect for a V-swing. A V-swing is installed similarly to a Y-swing except that the seat connects directly to the central rigging ring instead of to the lower Y-arm. V-swings can be installed on trees that are 10 to 20 feet apart and are usually anchored on the trunk 15 to 30 feet high. People get pretty excited when they see videos of the Swerfer swing in use, but it's rare to find a safe spot to put one if your trees grow tall and straight. Luckily, I've developed a way to safely suspend the Swerfer between two sturdy trees. It involves drilling a half inch hole through both trunks and installing an extra high strength tension cable between them. A metal tube is inserted into the tree trunk so that the cable doesn't harm the trunk wood. The Swerfer ropes are attached to short chains that are held in place on the cable by strong cable clamps. To be able to hold a Swerfer swing, both trees have to be at least four feet around at ground level, and the ideal distance between the trees is 30 to 40 feet. As with every swing I install, the friction points are metal on metal to ensure that the ropes do not fail. A Swerfer setup between trees can also incorporate a coupling so that you can switch out the Swerfer seat for a nest seat, for example. Safety is of primary importance in all my tree swing designs. The materials I use have breaking strengths in the tens of thousands of pounds. The ropes and rust proof hardware are made for outdoor rigging applications and are maintenance free for at least a decade. All friction points are metal on metal, which means you don't have to worry about ropes fraying or the tree being damaged. I'm a certified arborist with the International Society of Arboriculture, which means that I'm a recognized tree expert who understands tree biology and the physics and forces at work in trees. I can assess trees for their suitability as an anchor tree, and I can identify hazards from the canopy all the way down to the roots. If trees need to be removed to create a secure swing path, I can do that safely too. In short, I prioritize the health of your trees and the safety of everyone using your swing. The cost of a custom swing installation when spread over the life of the swing is less than $50 per year, but the memories made enjoying your swing are priceless and will last a lifetime. Don't be surprised if the swing I install for you draws your family and friends together and becomes the focal point of your entire yard. To get in touch with me about a custom tree swing on your property, please visit piedmonttreeclimbing.org or find my contact information in the video description below. See you in the trees. Really? I'm just jumping over. <laughs> yeah!